I'm fixing to take the pedal board off the Allen 301C organ. Just slide it out of the way. Now I gotta move this heavy beast, just one corner of it I gotta move. I've got to take the back panel off the organ. Comes off pretty easy. Two screws hold it on. And it will show the internals of the organ, most of them anyway. Alright, on the back side of the organ, you'll see uh, two amplifiers, the flute amplifier and the main amplifier. The thumb screw on the side of this. Which opens up, which swings open. And on the back side is a digital to analog computer. That's basically where the reverb's going to hook into. This is the DAC board. These four plugs is where I'm going to hook the reverb into. Where I want to hook the uh, inputs to the reverb would be the flute out. And the main amp cable out. I've got them marked so I don't mix them up. I've also got my cords marked for main and flute on both ends. Now I'm going to have Denise show the power supply for the organ. It happens to be right here. There happens to be an open outlet. They come on when the organ switch is turned on. That's where I'm going to hook the power supply for the reverb unit. The reverb unit I'm going to be using is an Alesis Nanoverb. It's an older one. They have the Nanoverb 2 out which isn't much different. This will work just as well. I'll be using four, four plugs on the back. Two will be input, two will be output. They'll take adapters, uh, quarter inch male to uh, female uh, RCA plugs. As you can see here, I've got two sets of RCA cords. They're stereo cords. You can buy them just about anywhere, I think. Uh, Home Depot sells them. We bought these at Menards. Uh, they're available just about anywhere. I'm using six footers. I've got them already hooked up, input and output both. Okay, these are the out outputs of the, of the Nanoverb. Connected to the outputs are pedal isolators. You need these for the Allen. Uh, MOS series at least, MOS 1 and MOS 2, probably some later models also. Without these, your uh, expression pedal will not work correctly. Attached to the pedal isolators are female unions. That's the only possible way to connect to what I'm going to show you next. The cables that I unhooked earlier they go directly to the amplifiers. Plug in here. Just make sure you got your connections right. Make sure your flute's where it belongs and your main is where it belongs. Our little dogs like to get into the movies too. They're trying to help me back here. Uh, they're not much help. They just snooping. That's a little boomer right there. He's yeah. <laughs> he's seven months old, a little over seven months old. And the other one, that's my buddy Chubbs. 
We got another one hanging around here somewhere, but all together about 21 pounds. As you can see, I've got things kind of tucked in here so they can't flop around. Uh, I guess in case earthquake hits or something. Um, and I'll be uh, routing that through the the hole where the uh, where the electrical cord goes to the organ, also the speaker cables. Um, the nanover will be on top of the console for now. Uh, I may mount it permanent to the organ. Um, I'll wait and see. I've tried it out um, before I end this video and it does work beautiful. It works just nice. So there you have it. That's my video. Okay, I've got to take the pedal board off, off this Allen C301 cut. Are you stopping? <laughs> Push the button. I didn't know.